Welcome to Sunset Stadium, the venue for hosts uh, Zanako and uh, visiting. Um, have uh, 25 points. What separates them uh, is the goal difference. So the setup is uh, certainly uh, looking on uh, who is uh, Spitz uh, Chiara just behind uh, Kola and uh, on this uh, prison leopard's uh, side. A lot of work uh, coming on prison. Uh, what about uh, uh, Zulu uh, as well as uh, Miete uh, who should add on to Zanako. So who will end up being victorious? Well, there's only a way to find out that's by staying with the world of champions as number one and number two battle for supremacy here at, uh, pre at uh, Sunset uh, Stadium. And uh, we do hope you will stay with us and remember that uh, we just love to hear what uh, you have to say in as far as this match is concerned. As the Green uh, Buffaloes will be looking after having beaten Kito United in the earlier game that was played uh, on this uh, particular venue. Press from uh, Martin Piri and the contribution from uh, Chela making uh, the soldiers victorious over Kitwe United who equalized uh, through Lungu. Now, first early corner, your social media platforms are waiting for you. Do make that uh, comment and uh, analysis and we are pleased to work with you. Zanako we want to bank the first goal here, early stages, and the prison leopards who show that with the support and resources, anything can happen. This doesn't look like a promotion side. Not at all, and uh, a lot of people. Before you say anything, an effort that is wide. And it's Obashi just looking to continue where he left off in the uh, previous match but like you were saying I mean would you have guessed that 15 games into the season this would have been a top of the log clash Franklin um, <laughs> no <laughs> I I think, one I and two think I would be lying game 15 this would be clash one <laughs> and two no I, I honestly didn't think so <laughs> I honestly didn't think so but here it is the question is how long because there's Zesco breathing. There's a certain, there's a forest ranger somewhere there's a in the forest mix. Forest ranger yeah. somewhere. So how long will prison leopards stay here? One thing to get on top, quite another to stay there. Yeah, and I think for them, milestone number one is uh, playing the Absa Cup, which I think is as good as certain for them as it now. So that's that's a that's a huge boost for them from a team that just got promoted. So having succeeded at achieving the first milestone i think uh, you can't really put it beyond them to contemplate continental football well uh, <laughs> they're allowed to, to entertain the thought <laughs> yes indeed so early stages yet you don't want to say zanako is acclimatizing but prison lepers certainly need to Sizing up each other in the early stages. It's going to be a very challenging task for both uh, men on the bench. And now a push, the likes of uh, Basili will certainly be busy up front, but uh, Zio Tembo and company equally will need to have the concentration caps right on. Kola. And the few privileged fans looking for some quick break and early go. Nice sliding tackle, takes the ball out for a throw in. Good defensive work from uh, Prison Leopards. Not that many players can uh, actually tell you they can keep up with the pace of Ernest Mbewe, but uh, Prison Leopards left back today just 
showing that today is going to be a very interesting day at the office for the Zanako winger. Early sightings of uh, the threat that both Baba Basile and Roger Kola will pause to Prison Leopard's defense. That aerial ability that these two strikers have. It's going to be quite a day at the office for the likes of Shadrack Banda for <laughs> Prison Leopards in defense. Ooh, oh, that, uh, that looked nasty. Yeah, some damage to the furniture. Yeah, the sound was louder than the damage. <laughs> and uh, the way Zio Tembo just runs away from that scene like nothing ever happened. Just tells you how sound can exaggerate an occasion. <laughs> Ball into the 18 is not good. Five minutes of play. Uh, both sides should have settled. No one dominant yet. No real opportunities opened up yet. Kiara for the free kick. Oh, that uh, was well intended. Looked like it was straight from uh, the instruction manual. Yeah, just a constant, just another reminder that uh, Baba Basile is in and about that uh, penalty spot, penalty box of uh, Prison Leopards. And uh, time and again, Zanako will look to find him. Zanako take over, Kiara on this uh, occasion. Oh, looks like the potentially was a foul there. So, tell me, there was a change uh, in far uh, concepts and uh, the approach to incarceration is concerned, but let's talk about that a little bit later because it is a header here. A pressure here. Prison Leopards uh, managed to keep uh, that damage at bay, and uh, Junior Zulu eventually taking it out. And there's a, a run here. Mistake. Looks like Prison Leopards are stuttering. They don't look very comfortable at the moment. They might need to be a little bit more cautious. And a little more energy from uh, Prison Leopard so far. Landu Meite there just showing some purpose being fouled by uh, Lassa Kiala. So obviously Prison Leopard's uh, representing the correctional um service uh, service yeah and it's all in the spirit of, of from prison to service it's like police force to service wonder why it's still prison leopards because <laughs> the idea is to change everything <laughs> it's not, so you, you you got to you, you get you got into the facility to be corrected yes yes so prison seems to have a certain connotation which we've all moved from and these are the best marketers best ambassadors for that message of the service yes. absolutely so you wonder whether there could be consideration for name change because yeah. we don't have prisons anymore we have correctional <laughs> facilities yeah just true <laughs> think about it 
I'm sure it, it is something that uh, is food for thought. Because these are, these are the ambassadors of the correctional uh, services. So pushing for goal number one, Prison Leopards. Playing the first 10 minutes. But they've done an amazing job, Prison Leopards, a very motivated side that uh, is on the top, refusing to be a come and go kind of a situation. We've seen many promotion sides come and uh, before they settle, they've already said goodbye. London Mietel for the corner kick. Referee will get rid of uh, one ball. Goalkeeper has a strong touch in uh, Mangani Banda. Throw in to the visiting side. The game yet to truly fully open up. It's a uh, Tusanile's uh, throw in. Prisons uh, throw in again, and uh, Ephraim to take care of it. Just keeping it along the line. And it works in the end, except the final delivery is uh, too heavy from uh, Tusanile. An infringement in the middle of the park there, free kick to the bankers. Oh, that's an ambitious uh, overhead kick. Trying to go for the colorful goal. Still looking for a lift. And uh, it's almost like a case of uh, the difference between lighter uh, weight boxing, whichever category you name, they've got, they've got all those weights, mosquito yeah, weight, fly weight, know, fly weight. weight. Uh, it's always different from a heavyweight bout. I think, I think in, in these other bouts, you have a lot more punches being exchanged. Absolutely. In yeah. the others, you've got more hugs. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, in the heavy ones. Yeah, and a lot more killer punches. But uh, all these other weight categories have a lot more combinations, we should say. That's right. So it looks like uh, we're watching a heavyweight boxing match. A slugfest, yeah? Right. Depends on who goes to sleep. And then it opens up. And now, chance here, surely, for Junior Zulu. And it's eventually in, and that's the opener. And yes, Zanako are trailing, and Prison Leopards absolutely get what they came for. And a lot of work here for Zanako, and a well-deserved goal after so much uh, work uh, has uh, been done. And uh, you've got to give it to Prison Leopards, and it's uh, middle the is no happiness here on the part of uh, Zanako and uh, Yete makes it happen. So, a lot of work on the part of Zanako, but uh, you've got to give it to Prison Leopards because uh, Yete makes it one. Very casual from Boyd Musonda in the middle of the park and is dispossessed, and it's Francis Zulu who charges down. 
Obashi takes it up, takes the shot, initially saved by Mangani Banda, but an on-rushing Landu Meite comes into the four, and as Obashi takes it up, John Mwewa stops playing, so too does Zio Tembo and the rest of the defense of Zanako. They are lifting their hands, hoping it's an offside, but it is not, and Landu Meite, who makes his run from deep, comes through and finishes the ball. Brilliant finish there. And so, in the 14th minute, it's Prison Leopards in the lead. So, Zanako have to reply. An equalizer being searched here. It's going to be a free kick. It's going to be a free kick for Prison Leopards. And it was uh, Roger Kola who seems to have gotten contact. Well, I think the referee is calling for a stretcher. Looks it's, uh, like it's uh, an attention... A situation that needs uh, medical attention as uh, Junior Zulu. Yeah, it was a cross from Kevin Ousu, and uh, it was Roger Kola who had a coming together with uh, Zulu. And, uh, Junior Zulu just coming second best, and Chite Mweshi getting that ball. The on running Junior Zulu and Obashi. Plays the ball and Obashi, when he's level with Junior Zulu, that's when he gets active. When the save is made by Mangani Banda, Landu Meite comes from an onside position to finish it off. And Sanako defense just caught napping. So that sucker punch eventually coming. I think we should talk about boxing a little bit more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That sucker punch. <laughs> the bankers now needing to get out of prison. Here comes the ball. And a chance here. Good reaction. Zanako now in need of more pressure. Zulu with the man to beat. Cuts in. Seemingly escaping as the visitors looking for goal number two just uh, to insist and make sure an emphatic header to take the ball out of uh, danger. Chasing the first 20 minutes of this match. So now a little bit stunned here. But for how long will they stay like this? Oh, good uh, work uh, by the goalkeeper there. Lang Song Chisi has to save in prison Leopard's blushes. Good save from uh, the Baba Basile shot. That look on the face of uh, Chris Kaunda just tells how Zanako is not really happy about what's happening. But uh, the big burly striker of Zanako, the first time that the ball is played over the midfield end defense of prison Leopard's, takes that shot on goal and saved by Lang Song Chisi. There's been a goal number two. It looks like it's uh, Landu Ismieta with uh, two goals here. Oh, so much uh, pressure. And uh, Zanako are in trouble here. A lot of trouble. It's uh, two goals for Prison Leopards. And Prison Leopards here are having a day. And it's uh, Miete Landu. Uh, what a way to come and pay a visit. Second goal of the match. And uh, looks like this might be Prison Lepers back on top. Well, they definitely mean business. And it was Route 1 football. Ball over the top. Central defender for Zanako tumbles. And uh, the ball played into the path. 
of Lando Meishe, picked out very well by Obashi. And uh, it was more like a miscued shot from Obashi. He was going for goal himself. Ball takes a ricochet, falls very kindly for Lando Meite, unmarked, perfect finish it is. And uh, it's the challenge from John Mwewa that cues the ball up for Lando Meite. And the most comfortable finishes from the Prison Leopard Spin attack and no chance from Mangani Banda. The Zanako defense in sixes and sevens there. Belchance Makiese and Zio Tembo nowhere near contesting that particular shot from Meite. Prison Leopards getting their second. What to do? That's a big one now for Chris Kaunda. Azanako trail by two goals. It's uh, this man that brings all the trouble. Prison Leopards. So. A lot of work. And now, I wonder what uh, Mikiese is discussing with the referee. There's a yellow card. And uh, Kiara, could it be what he said? Okay, so. Kiara for his utterances is yellow carded. For the sense that he gets uh, that yellow card. It is what it is. Numbers don't lie. Zana Cornel, Prison Leopards 2 at the moment. So it could be said that uh, Zanako are being caged here might need to, lo to use a bit of uh, money to get out <laughs> yeah <laughs> looks like uh, the atms are not dispersing the kind of funds you'd expect or oh, you would say the ban the prison leopards are getting a very good return on banking on their banking with uh, the bankers <laughs> you could say that yeah good good return on the investment at Sanako. Mm, what a day to do that on, on saturday so the pressure is on there's a man down for Zanako, but play continues that's a hard, flat shot, but uh, off target. Could possibly be a caution here. And uh, it was a Prison Leopards player that charged down at Ernest Mbewe. And uh, rightfully so. Uh, well, Leopards players seem to be saying that the wrong player has been carded. Uh, it's Derek Mukomonzi, who seems to have committed the foul. Peter Kalota has since slotted in for John Mwewa in the left back position. Mm. Play continues here at Sunset Stadium where things are not going as planned for Zanako being uh, beaten here at home. Well, it's become a stat stop affair. Uh, Francis Zulu just seems to be <laughs> literally complaining uh, about the challenge that was made on him. Shell shocked is uh, Chris Kaunda. Very pensive look. Would yes, love to, it is. Would love to spend five seconds in his, just to go through his mind and see what thoughts may be going through that uh, concept, look of concentration. Yeah. 
Kalo does ball. And uh, it's uh, Chase's catch. Oh, Francis Debra is the one who chopped down Ernest Mbewe earlier. Play was led to continue, but of course the referee came back to caution him. So picked up a yellow card. Lepers are looking for goal number three. And there is potential for that to happen. Uh, looks like uh, the flag has something to say about <laughs> that. Goes up. It's, uh, first assistant, uh, Diana Chikotesha, who flags the captain today, Chite Mweshi for offside yeah, loses the ball prison lepers are quick and playing with confidence is this a promotion side not anymore <laughs> the complexion of this side is far from that of a promotion side and They've acclimatized very, very well and they're showing some promise in games around. Of course, Forest Rangers taking the lead through that quadricolor goal in the 17th minute. All the other games being played currently scoreless. To Sanila's throw in for Prison Leopards. He's got a chance to whip in the cross, he does. A foul. Free kick to Zanako and a bit of a, a bit of a hard talk uh, from the referee. Doesn't want to have that anymore from uh, the prison's captain. Corner kick uh, Zanako in their quest to get at least uh, a goal. Still no much from uh, Roger Collar. Basile did try an effort earlier on. But uh, looks like they might have to work a little bit harder. As the ball is nicely placed for the set piece. Kiela's ball. It's an in curler. Goalkeeper does well with that punch. Taking it back. But uh, maybe over hit and he goes out for a goal kick. As uh, Prison Leopards hold on. And for Zanako fans joining in now, the score sheet just looks wrong. Yeah, the home side is the one that's down by two goals to nil. Of course, Lumana Radiance have taken the lead against Indeni. Uh, yeah, in Denny over the weekend, of course, there was all that controversy about Dabi Chilufia being relieved of the services. And now this is Prison Lepers trying to add uh, salt to the wound. It will be a goal kick. Another so, substitution from Zanako is uh, Romaric Pitroipa will be withdrawn for Moses Piri. And, uh, of course, it's uh, all about intent from uh, Zanako. They will not wait to get themselves back in this game. And Chris Kaunda already made two substitutions. One, a defensive substitution, obviously, to correct what he saw to have been the weakness which Prison Leopards were, mis were exploiting. And now, an offensive change because they just have to get themselves back in this game as soon as possible. As soon as yesterday. Quickly into the box. And Prison Lepers will do well not to make a mistake, to commit too much. Throw into the bankers. Pressure is on. Mbewe scoffs that. He just needed to meet that ball square. That would have been quite something. But Langston Chis is happy that uh, Mbewe didn't really fully hit that ball well. Come on. Come on. 
Chase's distribution is not bad as Prison Leopards are in control. Zanako fighting for it and grabbing it back, but only temporarily as the visitors gain control again. Looking very comfortable on the ball, Prisons. Oh, nice interchange of passes, but uh, half great because eventually Zanako read it nicely. I think it's different, Franklin, when an away side takes the lead and when they've been playing, you know, maybe Route 1 football and nothing really pretty to look at, but they have the score and the lead. But for Prison Leopards, they've actually played some very beautiful football and the fact that they're leading just gives them a little more confidence at that. Absolutely. They are stroking the passes, they are bossing possession, and uh, they are looking purposeful when they have the ball. And I think it's, it's, it's no wonder that they are actually already leading by a comfortable scoreline of two goals to nil. With 15 minutes left uh, to go, Chris Kaunda will need to employ some something else. I he think, knows what. Yeah. And I think uh, in the early stages of this season, we were trying to figure out whether the players were getting to understand the Munyachi Pepo philosophy of the short passing game that uh, he seemed to be getting his players to play in. Now, I think it's looking more like the finished article. And uh, yeah, looks like they'll be playing quite a number of teams out of the park. Well. Out it goes. It's uh, Makiese, the guilty one. Free kick to Prison Leopards. Chitemweshi clutching his hamstring and uh, Belchance came through the back of the Prison Leopards captain and caught him in the hamstring. Not too sure what the fist bump is about though after you commit such a dubious foul. <laughs> Sign of approval from your fellow defenders or something. And, yeah, He will claim that he was trying to play the ball, Makiese. No chance he would play it through the man though. Knew exactly what he was doing. The thoughtful figure of uh, Mwenya Chipepo seems to be enjoying himself in Kawe. Was assistant coach to Gaston Mutowe Tower, right? Yeah. That feels like many moons ago. <laughs> I doubt he had a lot of input on the philosophy then. <laughs> I want to <laughs> doubt that too. <laughs> For many. <laughs> It could be what uh, in the few days or time spent that perhaps uh, George Wanda left. Mm. <laughs> so Prison Leopards do what they came for. They left the rest to Zanako. Baba Basil still not being given that uh, space is being marked out. More often than not, like has been observed, uh, Prison Leopards push forward with purpose. Mangani's uh, goal breached twice. He's uh, certainly not a happy man. Kiara. Piri. He should have uh, let go of that ball quicker. Kalota. Good block from Tusanile. Ten minutes or so left. Long throw into the box, corner kick effect. Goalkeeper, it's awkward here, anything can happen.
taking a bit of the time, Prison Leopards, to push forward. This is Zulu. He chips uh, one, but really had a little purpose, and they lose the ball needlessly. And the under pressure, Zanako tried to skid away with the Moses Piri. This is uh, Kiara, a chance here to physically work way around into the 18. Prison Leopards uh, kick the ball out for throw in. Good challenge by uh, Francis Debra there on Baba Basile. It was uh, going to be the battle of the strong men, but Debra seeming to get the better of Basile. But earlier, Franklin, Moses Piri, just showing that he wants it, that he really wants to get his team back in this game. Coming back deep, winning the ball for his team and starting an attack. Well, he said it is uh, hungry. He's been brought on for a purpose. There he is again. Mbewe stretches the ball. Headed out. Looks like Zanako. Everybody's expecting everybody else to react. Man down for prison leopards. As they try to power pressure. Don't know what that ball was meant to do from zero tempo. You can feel the pain. You can see it. He feels it. He knows he could have done better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, looked like he wanted to just keep that momentum going. But yeah, just put a little too much into that, the Zanako defender. Almost said Zanako captain. Just, uh, yeah, got reminded that the armband has uh, <laughs> switched arms lately. Oh, still standing strong. Prison Leopards look dangerous when they push forward. And shielding the ball, protecting it nicely almost all the time. Oh, but in the end... Francis Zulu, Zulu should be doing better from better, there. Surely. Yeah. Should be doing a lot better from that. But it's constructive what Prison Leopards are doing. And you can actually see they're really working Zanako and asking a lot of questions of, the, of Zanako's midfield and defense. Anticipation on that occasion, poor on the three. Kalota, he might want to whip in the cross. He does. Ball still in play. Troubled Zanako, surely needed to get one before the break. Kalota. Offside call there on uh, Chitemweshi. Kalota. He might want to get a return. He does. Taking out. Zanako trying to play some possessive football. This is Kiara sending the pressure to the far side. Oh, that just looked like... Uh, one foul you would not get away with. Suspect the referee might uh, have a word with him. Francis Debra already get... sitting on a yellow, if uh, <laughs> he might be reminded. <laughs> and I think uh, <laughs> Junior Zulu there just going to him and reminding him. Reminding him. <laughs> of course, they are missing Shadrick Banda, their original captain, due to injury. So. It wouldn't be very nice if uh, they were to lose another central defender. Looking for a return. One reply, Zanako. Thank you. 
This could get interesting. It should have become interesting had it been well measured. Yeah, and Belchance Makies, I think he tries to save uh, a not so good delivery there. And Lassa Kiala, disappointed with himself, just looks a very dejected figure. And I think even from the time he gets the yellow card for descent earlier in the match, due to the words he shares with the first assistant, you can see that Zanakwa seem to be fighting themselves a lot more. Could be an off the ball incident. Uh, Langson Chisi just getting a warning from uh, the referee about time wasting. Why would you stop killing time today? <laughs> As in, in this half. <laughs> Still so much, so much, so long a way to go. I think was it the, the Young Green Eagles versus Green Eagles game, or Green Eagles versus Young Green Eagles game, where we saw a card being given in, was it the 24th, 25th yes, minute? 24th, for I think so. Time like wasting <laughs> to a goalkeeper. <laughs> yeah, that was absurd. It was, it was. <laughs> and it was a good call, actually, from the referee. <laughs> yeah. That's like wanting the game to end now. Almost. Come on, repeat. Let's speak, let's speak, let's speak, guys. Hey. Four minutes left to play. And the uh, bankers are in deep, deep trouble. Well, nothing to threaten there from uh, Junior Zulu. All he wants for now is to go on the break with this lead. Uh, prison's coach. Free flowing generally this uh, half has been uh, so far. Piri trying to take things a little bit personal. Kalota got a man to beat. Zulu chases after him. And the goal comes and it is. The strong, strong collar. And yes, comes in with a strong header. And that's what you do. It's a reply that's uh, worthy of note because it gives the knuckle the belief. And uh, Prison Lepers fail to hold on to the lead, a clean lead. And they allow the knuckle to come back. So they'll still be leading. But Roger Collar with a strong header that sends a message about that. He is still a long way to go. Oh, Peter Kalota, he just exploits the right side of Prison Leopard's defense and floats that ball in. That's what he was brought in for, Peter Kalota. Float those balls, let the big guys attack it. Roger Kola rises highest. Langson Chixi, he mistimes his run as he's coming to challenge for that particular ball. And he looks like he's second getting himself, the goalkeeper. Well, and so in the 43rd minutes, Zanako pull one back. Zanako 1, Prison Leopards 2. Zanako claiming. So Boyd Musonda there. Trying to make a case, referee insisting. A bit of panic in that Zanako defense. A push earns the bankers a free kick. Oh, looks like the referee has to deal with some issue here. A minute to go. Wonder how many will be added to this uh, almost free flowing match. Looking to equalize before the break. Prison Leopards in need of a control. Now, that was a good, good way to move. But a bit uh, slow in the Progression uh, Prison Leopards, Junior Zulu's uh, run on the flanks. 
whips in the cross. Well, that ball seems to have gone out and back in. Yeah, look, I don't understand why Junior Zulu had waited so long to try and connect with that wall. But eventually, it uh, trickles out of touch. So one minute added to this. Junior Zulu on the ball. That is anybody's ball. But, uh, Moses Piru is there to add pressure. Prison Leopards. The wrist uh, making some mistake. But Leopards will be quite happy to go on the break with his score line. Zanak will be relieved they scored at least one. Gives them a lot of hope coming into the second half with uh, the belief they can equalize and even win it. And uh, it's about the spot where the ball should be thrown in from. And any time, the ref will be blowing that whistle as he does now to take uh, both sides on uh, a short uh, break. Uh, first half, now what this uh, half uh, has been uh, all about. But for Zanako, the third minute, they will want to win this. They will want to score. Will it happen? You know there's only one way to.